All right, uh, seems that the floods are indeed over. Uh, you can see how the uh, tunnel was affected. It trickled down and almost, yeah, well, it did get into the tunnel. Well, I'm back. And uh, let's go see what the damage is. It seems that the uh, side was all flooded. 110% flooded. And the station is definitely uh, seen better days. I mean, look at it. It's like dirt and grime on it. Well, what I'm really worried about is the passenger cars and carriages. Oh. Well, what do you know? They're, they're, they're fine. Sweet. Well, let's, uh, let's continue. Continuing on down the line. Looking at this part especially because you never know. As you can see, this part here, gotta take it slow. Because, you know, you never know when it might fall over the bridge. Which isn't too badly damaged, and the mucky water below isn't that bad. Around the curve, a lot of stuff on the track, but I can ride over it. Let's uh, continue, continue on. More stuff on the tracks. Lots of stuff on the tracks. Oh, I think we got a problem up here. Yeah. Track is a bit lifted up. Yeah, I can feel my weight definitely pushing down on it. More gunk on the tracks. A lot of stuff fell during this whole flood and winds. Oh, well, at least, at least the railroad didn't get washed away. That would have not been good. All right, we're coming up to the loop, and wait a minute. Hold the phone. Is that? Is that another engine? Didn't think we got another engine. Hold on. Hello? Um, you okay? Um, uh, okay, I guess I'll take you back. I <sighs> wonder how the owner is going to react. Well, I guess we could use another engine. Knuckles are very weak. Because, uh, every time I Pull up that slide in climb, I always have some wheel slip. But with this new engine, hopefully that won't be a problem. Yeah. I think this is from uh, the uh, Pennsylvania Railroad. I recognize the design of the tender. Hmm. Let's uh, put, put the engine in the siding. Alright. I can barely tell, but it looks like. On the cab, it says 94. Wait a minute. This is Pennsylvania Railroad number 94. From a, a museum. How'd she get all the way out here? I don't know. But, yeah, well, put her in the siding. Nowhere else to put her. So, yeah. This was a very interesting day. It turned from... Track inspection to another engine find. Put you in the siding. Yeah, we're running out of room. Yeah, I can't really go back now because the uh, snow plow way over there is now in the way. I'm gonna have to either scrap it or move it. Yeah, well, pretty interesting. Can't really get by anymore, so might as well go around back into the tunnel. Alright. Well, I guess there's nothing much really to uh, do here anymore. Oh, wait, what about that uh, old building? Oh, yeah, I remember. The um, owner, they used to be a parts manufacturer up on the mountain. And then, well, the company kind of fell apart and the factory's been sitting there ever since, rusting away. I guess a part fell down the mountain. Well, um, you know, manufactured wheels for us and pistons and funnels and headlights and knuckles. Yeah, well, I guess that's it for today. There's nothing else ready to do. Oh, I need a good nap, even though I've been taking one for like five days. But I think that's it for today. All right.
I don't know how dispatch, can, dispatch is going to react to another engine. Hopefully in a good way. I mean, I'd hate to see her send away. But hopefully it won't come to that.